If you're watching this video, most likely it is because you clicked on this thumbnail. On this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create thumbnails that will get you clicks for your YouTube channel. Coming up. Welcome to another Speak International tutorial. This is Ernesto Verdugo and I am very excited about this video because I'm going to be showing you not only how to create thumbnails with Canva, but how to create thumbnails that people will click. So please stay tuned. And if you like this type of content, please make sure to give us a like and a comment so that more people will actually get to see this content. Let's get started. Yeah, baby. <laughs> if you search on YouTube how to make thumbnails for your YouTube videos on Canva, you're going to find hundreds of videos which are going to explain you how you can use Canva as a tool to create thumbnails. Now, this tutorial is going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to be exactly showing you how to use Canva as a tool, but I'm going to show you the psychological way that you need to design your thumbnails so that they will get clicked. Danger is my middle name. Canva is a great free tool that you can get in canva.com and it will help you design thumbnails. But it is not design what you need to understand before you can actually start creating great thumbnails for your videos. So in a normal tutorial, what they will do is they will teach you go and open an account in Canva and then click where create the design and then search for the YouTube thumbnail link, click on the link and Canva will provide you with an empty canvas where you can design a beautiful thumbnail. Now, you arrive here and you suddenly see a blank canvas and then you do not know what to do. So you say, well, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these templates. So you click on the template and you simply change the picture and change a little bit the text and then you're ready. You think that your thumbnail is ready. Then you upload it into YouTube and guess what? Nobody clicks on it. And I'm going to tell you exactly why this happens. Never use a template. Why not? Because it does not convey the idea of the thumbnail and this is the most important part on the design everybody hey baby oh behave <laughs> i've got an idea most people think of the thumbnail as an afterthought after they have created their video wrong let me show you an example if you go here into google and you search for youtube thumbnails you're gonna see a number of different thumbnails because of course people do not understand the psychology behind the thumbnail. They think that by simply adding the uh, funny picture or the smiley picture or the surprise picture, the thumbnail is going to is gonna work great. That is not the case. There's a lot more that goes into the design of a thumbnail. And that's exactly why you always have to think if your thumbnail actually communicates an idea. If it doesn't communicate an idea, then start from scratch again. Gary Vaynerchuk is the perfect example for what I am talking about. Just please look at all these different thumbnails. Every thumbnail by itself communicates an idea. Five tips for success. Now, please look at the title and you will see that the thumbnail text and the title are completely different. Five tips for success, five business tips in five minutes. Can you see how he's playing with the title and with the name and with the text of the thumbnail to actually earn the click? Same thing happens here. Who are you winning for? And then just underneath, look at the title, who decides the definition of success. So as you can see, one of the biggest mistakes that most uh, designers do is that they put a picture with a funny face and then suddenly they put the text of exactly what it says on the title. This is a big mistake because of course what you're trying to do is you're trying to earn the click. You're trying to win the click. You want to catch the attention from your audience so that they will start watching your video. And this is why you need to have a very good thought of what you're going to be putting on your thumbnail. Very shagadelic. The thumbnail for this video was created before I recorded the video. Why was that? Because the only way to win the click is if you actually give it some thought to what you're going to be putting on the thumbnail. 
let's just study the thumbnails of Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is one of the most successful YouTubers. As you can see, he has 72 million subscribers. So let's just take a look at this one that says last to take hands off the Lamborghini keeps it. Look at the thumbnail. First of all, it says last to take hands off the Lamborghini keeps it. So the, the title is very clear, but look at the thumbnail, 50 people and everybody holding the Lamborghini. Same thing here, first to rob the bank wins $100,000. So there, it, there he is with a crazy face. And of course, he can, you can see the idea. The idea is completely well portrayed on the thumbnail so that you can actually get the idea of what it is. And that's enticing the click. Same thing here, extreme 500,000 game of tag. And look at how it is. It's like if they're falling off a cliff, then 100 people to leave the circle wins $500,000. Can you see how the combination of the uh, expression of the face, that of course can be very important, but it's actually communicating an idea. That's where most people get it wrong. You have to communicate an idea on your thumbnail. The moment that you communicate an idea of your thumbnail, then that's gonna also help you get the click, earn the click by also adding some extra text in the title of the video. And that's what you need to work on. So now that you know this, let's just analyze this thumbnail, the one that you clicked on. Do you want people to click on your thumbnails? The idea is perfectly communicated here. Now, if you look underneath the title of the video, it's completely different than what it says here on the thumbnail. And that is because of SEO reasons. And I will talk about it in a second. But as you can see, the idea is completely communicated on this thumbnail. Do you want people to click on your thumbnail? Then there is a little hand that is actually clicking on the video and you know that it's a Canva tutorial. Yes, I included myself, not for other reason, but for branding. And that's the last topic that I'm going to talk about before I can actually share my entire process on how to create great thumbnails. One remark that I get frequently is when people are saying, well, my, I want to be on the thumbnail. In the case of Mr. Beast, you can see here that he's in most of his thumbnails. Some of them, he's not appearing on his thumbnail. Of course, he's using the crazy faces, but of course it is because he's communicating an idea and his branding is super strong. Now, if you're a speaker, a trainer, an author, I suggest that you actually look at the channel from Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy, of course, appears in most of his thumbnails, but you can see the branding of the show on every single one of the thumbnails. So if you're going to be thinking about your branding, that is perfectly fine. But what you need to understand is that it's more important that you get the click that you actually get branded. I always ask my speakers, do you want the click or do you want your branding? It's possible to get both if you do it intelligently, like here in the case of Jimmy Kimmel. So now that you know all of this, let me share with you my process so that you will know how to create great thumbnails that are linked to the title and also to the content of your video. Hold on a tick. Wait 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 a tick. Rule number one, never record a video until you know people are searching for that specific topic. A very common mistake most beginner YouTubers do is that they just create a video willy-nilly without knowing if there's going to be people searching for that specific topic. This video I recorded about three weeks ago when the Dubai Expo 2020 got opened and right now it has 2,933 views. So how did I get to know that? I use a tool that is called vidIQ and I am leaving a link on the description below. On this keyword, you can find out exactly what people are searching for. Therefore, I wrote down Expo 2020 Dubai. Now, if we can see here, Expo 2020 Dubai has 1 million searches and has very low competition. So the possibility is that my video is going to have an audience before I create it are very high. And that's the step number two that you need to do. You only record a video that you know that people are gonna be searching for. Step number three, now that you know that this term and this topic has searches and people are gonna be looking exactly for that kind of content, then you're going to create the video, upload it into YouTube, and before you create your thumbnail, what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure that you have the right title with the right keyword. So you have here the keyword that we were looking for, then we're gonna be separating it by an emoji. And the emoji is great because it actually tells the algorithm that the second word is another keyword that you're also wanting to rank for. Then you're going to 
copy the exact title over here. You're going to put it on the description. This is part of the packaging. That's why it's so critical that you never design a thumbnail before you know exactly how you're going to be packaging the entire video. Then you're going to have in these two lines here, you're going to have a small explanation of what the video is about. And you're going to go back to your keyword tool which in this case, it's vidIQ. So you're gonna be searching for keywords that have high search volume, low competition, and those are the keywords that you're gonna start selecting. You're gonna select all the keywords that have very low competition until you have 20 keywords. Then you're gonna copy the keywords here, and then you're gonna take them into the keyword section of your video. You're gonna paste them there, and as you can see here, my video is ranking in all these different words. Yeah, baby. So finally, we know exactly what idea we are going to convey with our thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Canva and uh, I'm going to upload the picture that I have already found and I have already here, uh, which is very similar to what I have so that you understand exactly how it all works and I'm going to add it into Canva. So you upload the media, you just go here, click on it, and it's going to be appearing there. So I have already my picture. So I make sure that it is on the uh, right specific spot. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And now I would like to add a picture. So of course, what I want to convey, it's the idea that, it's an, that it is a virtual tour. So I need the person wearing the virtual reality goggles. So if I will actually just input her here, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have it with the uh, terrible background. And if you have the paid version of Canva, you will be able to take away the background. But if you have the free version of Canva, you can use a free service that is called remove.bg. So you come here to remove.bg and you upload the image that you want to remove the background of, which in this case, it will be this lady, which is wearing the virtual goggles. And as you can see, it will immediately delete the entire background. So all you, do, all you have to do is press download, you save it, and then you go again in Canva, remove this image, obviously, and now you upload the image that you just downloaded from Remove BG, which in this case, it will be this one, and insert it into your thumbnail. Now I have it over here, and I can make it a little bit bigger if I want, or if I want, I can flip it into the uh, other direction, so I can have it in this way, or I can have it in this way, whichever I like better. And if I want to actually include the branding of my company, which in this case it will be Speaking Dubai, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a logo, which I have already uploaded, which is very simple, and I can just put it here. Now, very important, whenever you are designing a thumbnail, make sure that this space here, it's always empty, because here's where the timestamp from the video is, and it normally covers the um, whatever you put over here. So if I, will, if I will put my logo here, it will be covered by the timestamp. So that's why you have to put it up here. And this is how you create a thumbnail using Canva correctly. I hope that you enjoyed the video and please make sure to keep on watching and subscribe if you like this content.